Vermin Supreme, a presidential candidate known for wearing a boot on his head and promising everyone a free pony if elected, was barred this week from participating in the New Hampshire Institute of Politics Lesser Known Candidates Forum. The Concord Monitor reports that this comes after he sprinkled glitter on the head of a candidate whom he saw as racist at the same event four years ago. He waited outside the event Tuesday. It was 19 degrees. That was the C-SPAN announcer introducing coverage of the Lesser Known Candidates Forum in New Hampshire. It was January 19th, 2016. No vermin supreme that year, but he has participated in other lesser-known candidates' forums leading up to the New Hampshire presidential primary, like the one for this year. But wait, who is vermin supreme? And what is the lesser-known candidate forum? Find out in this episode of C-SPAN's podcast, The Weekly. Hi, this is Rachel from C-SPAN's podcast team. And before we get to this week's episode, I'd like to introduce you to one of the producers here at C-SPAN, my colleague Sean. Thanks, Rachel. If you're a fan of The Weekly, we think you'll also like our evening newsletter, Word for Word, which brings you a recap of the day's most important political and policy events delivered right to your inbox. Read about what happened on Capitol Hill and at the White House and watch video highlights featuring the day's newsmakers. Hear them word for word. Join our community of informed listeners and viewers. Head over to cspan.org slash connect and subscribe to Word for Word today. Thanks for listening and staying connected with Word for Word. Subscribe now at cspan.org slash connect. Thank you. With a boot on his head and teeth on his tie, Vermin Supreme has run in every presidential election since 1992. And he's on the ballot again in New Hampshire in 2024. Leading up to the New Hampshire presidential primary every four years, Vermin Supreme has been a regular participant in many of the state's lesser-known candidates' forums. What is the Lesser-Known Candidates Forum? Sponsored by the New Hampshire Institute of Politics and Political Library at St. Anselm College, it's an opportunity for each presidential candidate to present his or her position on issues in a public setting. The forum has become largely associated with Vermin Supreme, and yes, we'll hear from him in a moment, but the forum is, at its core, intended to be serious and substantive, giving the public a chance to hear directly from more candidates. Established reporters from established media outlets ask the questions. C-SPAN has been showing them since 1992. And it has a lot of participants. The one for the 2024 New Hampshire primary had 14 candidates. Why so many? Because there are a lot of lesser-known candidates. 32 lesser-knowns are competing in the January 23rd New Hampshire presidential primary. To get on the New Hampshire ballot, you just have to pay a $1,000 fee to the Secretary of State. They take cash or certified check. Now, let's hear from some of these lesser-known candidates. From the most recent lesser-known candidate forum on December 7th, 2023, here's the opening statement from Vermin Supreme. My fellow Americans and others, as your president, I have promised to engage in hostilities only with powers that I deem to be a real and immediate threat to our peace-loving nation. And that is why I have ordered the Interdimensional Strategic Space Horse Command to commence bombing of Narnia in five minutes. If we do not fight them in their dimension there, we will have no choice but to fight them in our dimension here. The orcs are an existential threat to our way of life. We will not stop until we have reached Middle Earth and the last orc is dead. In this uncertain time, we must unite as a country. Let us all pray for our fearsome flying unmanned robot pony drones as they rain (laughs) fire and death upon our subhuman enemies and innocent wedding parties and lots and lots of non-combatant hobbits. And here is Vermin Supreme's closing statement. Remember, there are two types of people on this planet. Those that love ponies and those that will not survive the transition times. The road to Ponytopia will not be easy. Not all of us will make it. There will be hardships. There will be sacrifices, human sacrifices. But let me assure you this, the road to Ponotopia will be paved with the glitter-encrusted skulls of our vanquished enemies. In between his opening and closing statements, Vermin Supreme answered questions on issues 
like guns. Vermin Supreme will take away your guns and give you better ones. <laughs> and these better okay. guns will shoot marshmallows, but they will still be lethal. <laughs> but I would like to address this recent internet uh, rumor that I'm some sort of super evil villain trying to create a, a human pony hybrids, uh, turning humans into ponies. Uh, I'm Ten not seconds. Doing such experiments. No, but I do support uh, the surgical creation of human pony uh, hybrids. Other candidates were also asked about guns, which gives us a chance to hear some serious policy answers. Here's Frankie Lozada. What it comes down to is accountability. Uh, we have to raise that accountability because what's happening is, is too many folks are getting access to guns they're not supposed to have. Whether it is background checks, whether it is some kind of training, I think everybody who's going to own a firearm should have that training. One, to understand the power that they have in their hands and to be able to know what it can do. Now, with accountability, as far as access to guns, I believe that every piece of a weapon should have a blockchain indicator that can be traced because guns can be taken apart in parts. Mm -hmm. I need to know where every part came from, who it can be tracked down to, and the first person to manufacture to purchase. And here's Gabriel Cornejo. Now, I'm, I'm not against the Second Amendment. I understand it has its place, uh, especially at the time that it was enacted. But uh, if we're being honest with each other, <clears throat> There is a distinction between having a firearm to defend yourself and then a firearm that has no place in public setting. But in terms of taking away guns, I don't think that that's going to be something that most Americans are going to be in favor of. But I do think that it is important to regulate where and when these guns can be utilized. And here's John Vale. Around the Second Amendment, if we took the Second Amendment seriously and believed that it has something to do with well-regulated militias, then we would have an opening for taking guns and putting them in armories where they are controlled, any military type hardware, where they are controlled, locked up, let out when it's appropriate, and where there's training and supervision. The forum has taken place since 1972, and Vermin Supreme has participated before. Here's his opening statement on December 19th, 2011. Thank you. Gingivitis has been eroding the gum line of this great nation long enough and must be stopped. For too long, this country has been suffering a great moral and oral decay in spirit and in sizers. A country's future depends on its, on its ability to bite back. We can no longer be a nation indentured. Our very salivation is at stake. Together, we must brace ourselves. As we cross over to the bridge work, into the 23rd century, let us bite the bullet and together make America a sea of shining smiles from sea to shiny sea. Now friends, some people will tell you that this mandatory toothbrushing law is about the secret dental police kicking down your door at 3 a.m. to make sure you've brushed. Friends, it is not. Some will mention the dental re-education centers or the preventative dental maintenance detention facilities. It's about none of these things. It's not about the government-issued toothpaste containing an addictive yet harmless substance. No, friends, it is not even about DNA gene splicing to create a race of winged monkeys to act as tooth fairies. Friends, what this mandatory toothbrushing law is really about is strong teeth for a strong America. My name is Vermin Supreme. I am a friendly fascist. I am a tyrant that you should trust, and you should let me run your life because I do know what is best for you. Yes, I'm a politician. I will promise you anything your little electorate heart desires because you are my constituents. You are the informed voting public and because I have no intention of keeping any promise that I make. Vote early, vote often. Remember, a vote for Vermin Supreme is a vote completely thrown away. I would like to take this moment to acknowledge uh, my mother who is in the audience here today. Please stand up, mother. Please stand up. Um, if you can stand up, please stand up. Yeah, she's going to try and stand up so you can acknowledge her. This, this, this is my mother. Uh, there we go. And five years ago this April, I gave her a kidney. My challenge to you people, everybody on the stage and everybody in the audience, give up a kidney. All right. Thank you, Mr. Supreme. Thank you. In that 2011 forum, Vermin Supreme also was asked about an issue, whether he still supports his pledge to provide a pony for every American. Yes, I do, sir. 
free ponies for all Americans, one of the overlooked issues in America today. My free pony platform is, of course, a jobs creation program. It will create lots and lots of jobs once we uh, switch over to a pony-based economy. We'll also lower our uh, dependence on foreign oil. We'll also be able to uh, turn all that pony poop into methane gas and wonderful compost, so we'll be able to uh, re uh, up our soil that is being depleted by uh, agrochemicals, etc., etc., etc. And, of course, the important thing to realize is that it is a federal pony identification program where you will need your pony with you at all times. Thank you very much. Does Vermin Supreme end up getting votes? Yes. In the 2012 New Hampshire Democratic primary, Vermin Supreme challenged the incumbent president. Vermin Supreme got 833 votes. Barack Obama got 49,080 votes. In 2016, in a competitive New Hampshire Democratic primary, Vermin Supreme got 268 votes. He was edged out by Bernie Sanders, 152,193 votes. In 2020, Vermin Supreme ran as a libertarian, but he's back on the Democratic ballot in the New Hampshire primary again in 2024. And now, a bonus clip. Actually, two bonus clips. Two other lesser-known candidates participating in the Lesser-Known Candidates Forum, like Paperboy Love Prince. The politicians and leaders are doing theater on us. We need to start spreading love, and we need to do that in a major way. Ha, <laughs> paper, yeah. It's our time. I'm Paperboy Love Prince. Speaking right after Paperboy Love Prince, and right before Vermin Supreme, Richard Rist. If you don't vote for me, it's going to be the start of the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service, sir. Appreciate that. That's right. That's right. Then the Starship Enterprise is going to have to come to Earth and save the world. Uh, I'm we, happy to share my secrets about defeating the zombies, but for now, just remember so you're out of time. Richard Rist will prevent the zombie apocalypse. Thank you very Join much. America, we got to move on. Thank you very much. Can either paperboy love Prince or zombie apocalypse thwarter Richard Rist or any other lesser known president or candidate become better known than Vermin Supreme? That's a decision that ultimately might have to be left up to the Vermin Supreme Court. Want to hear from any of the other many lesser-known candidates? Use the C-SPAN video library. Just go to cspan.org and use the search bar on top. For now, thanks for listening, happy searching, and a special song to play us off. From the 2011 Lesser-Known Candidates Forum, it's the musical stylings of Vermin Supreme. With a boot on his head and a song in his heart, here's Vermin Supreme asking the musical question, Vermin Supreme. My name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, Vermin Supreme. My name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, Vermin, Vermin Supreme. And you can vote, and you can vote, and you can vote for me for president if you want to. And, uh, and my name is Vermin, and, um, okay, thanks very much Vermin. for coming out today. Oh, wait, wait.